Hello once again everybody. It's that time of year again for my mid-year collection update. I know it's a little bit past the mid-year stage but I've had other things that I've been doing. Um, what I'm going to do this time, instead of doing the whole collection in one video, I'm going to do four separate videos because I've got four different detoffs. Uh, the reasons for that is, one, the video would be way too long if I did the whole lot and I think people lose interest in really long videos. Another reason is if you're interested in only one part of the collection, like maybe the Predators, then you can just skip to the video for the Predators, or if you're movie icon actors, then you can skip to that one, and Marvel, and so on and so on. And also I can spend a little bit more time uh, focusing on the figures in this detail. So the first part of this video is going to be the Predators. So without further ado, Let's see what I've got. So in this first cabinet, we've got three. We've got Falconer in the background. We have Berserker in the front. And the classic Predator, which I've sort of pimped out a little bit to make him look like the original Predator. So we'll take a look at the Berserker first. Still great looking figures. Uh, one thing I have noticed on these Super Preds though, which is the Berserker, the Falconer and the Tracker Predator, is that the straps, these straps here, tend to break. Um, it hasn't done it on the Berserker, but it's definitely done it on this guy, Falconer. I might have to re uh, get another one of him. Uh, the straps here broke and down on his leg as well also broke so I've had to glue it on um, but it does keep coming apart I apologize for the figures being cramped in the detoff but I will move this one out the front out the way here so you can have a good look at the ones behind as well so I will do that now Okay, here we have Falconer. His falcon is supposed to sit on his shoulder there, but it won't fit in the detail and it doesn't look that good anyway. So I've just put him down on the floor. And moving on over to the classic Predator. To say what I've done with this one is I've added a few bits to him to make him look like the original Predator from the first movie. Namely the, um, you can just see the little straps there on his arms. And also he's got the extra, if I move around to the side here, armour on his elbow. Also he's got the little pouch that I've put on. And the bone trophies that go around his shoulder. All three of these Predators have light-up features. This one has the light-up mask and also the hologram on his arm, whereas the other two have the light-up targeter on the masks. So that's the first shelf. We will now move on down to the second shelf. Okay, down on the second shelf we have three again. We have the Tracker Predator right in the front. Uh, I haven't got his hound with him at the moment because it just takes up too much room. And over on the left we have the Celtic Predator from AVP. And over on this side we have Scar from AVP. So we'll just take a closer look at Tracker first. These figures are still uh, readily available on the internet, on eBay and places like that, but they are becoming rarer and rarer now. It's one of the skull trophies that come with one of the Predators, I can't remember which one offhand. And we have a little face hugger there that I've just thrown in. That's the Tracker Pred. Put a little pause in here and we'll take a closer look at the two behind him. 
Okay, here we have Celtic, which is one of my favourites. This one comes with um, two different masks. You've got the one I've got on here with the scratch marks on it, and you've got another one which is just clean. You can take the chest plate off as well with this one. Comes with a diorama base that you can see there. And his little shuriken. This is one of my favourite predators. Next to him we have Scar. Very similar, these predators. It's just the odd little difference here. As you can see with this one, he's got the chest armour going down his stomach, whereas that one hasn't. And the uh, weapons on his hands are a little bit different as well. He's got the net launcher. Whereas he's got the um, detonator. I am getting a chopper predator done. Um, I did have the original chopper predator, I sold him. But what I'm doing is I'm buying another Celtic predator and I'm having some pieces sent to me by a guy in Germany called Dave Apro and I will convert that one to the chopper predator because I'm not sure Hot Toys are going to actually release the new Chopper Predator again. Uh, I don't know why, I'm hoping they are fingers crossed that they will, but it's looking less and less likely now as time goes on. I thought they might have announced it this year, but they haven't. So that's the second shelf, we'll now move on down to the third shelf. Ok, you've got four here. As you can see in the front we have the new Elder Predator from Predator 2 and we have Major Alan Dutch Schaefer from Predator. Behind him we have the Predator 2 City Hunter and the Ancient Predator from AVP. Now I have got the new Elder Predator from AVP coming. Uh, he should be here I see I'm recording this on the Monday, he should be here on Thursday, so expect a video on that very soon. So we'll just take a closer look at this guy first, and this one is absolutely superb. Uh, a lot of people are complaining about the dreads, saying they shouldn't be blue, they should be grey, uh, but I like them like this. The new um, Elder Predator from AVP, AVP has got the grey dreads, so I'll do a comparison between the two when I get him. He's got his flintlock pistol there and his bone handled knife. You can just pick it out. Huge improvement on the original release that Hot Toys did. Um, yes the head face sculpt isn't movie accurate but I'm not bothered about that. A lot of people are. I'm not. Down in the middle here we have another one of the skulls. And here we have Major Alan Dutch Schaefer. I'm really hoping Hot Toys redo this one because this one's looking pretty dated now. Um, the head sculpt isn't bad, but with the new Arnie head sculpts that they've done recently, <clears throat> I think they could do um, a really good job on this for a remake. But it's still a great figure to have nonetheless. A lot of people have uh, customised theirs and redone the face and changed the body underneath. So I'll put a little pause in here and we'll take a look at the two in the background. Ok, starting with the Ancient Pred. I might get another one of these at some stage because it comes with two different masks. That's the first mask. And if we move on down, I do have the second alternate mask on the floor. And obviously he comes with the awesome alien head on his spear and the diorama base as well. Very similar to the Chopper Predator base, uh, not Chopper, the Celtic Predator base, but the um, alien head is a little bit different. There's his shuriken there. 
really nice predator. And next to him we have the predator from the movie Predator 2, the City Hunter. I've got him with his breather mask on just to, you know, something a little bit different rather than show them all with their bio masks. Again, the head sculpt on this one isn't um, movie accurate, but it still looks like a good figure. And there's his bio mask and his skull trophy and the the net gun on his uh, shin there does keep falling off it's a bit of a pain plus the extendable spear that he's got in his hand that keeps falling out from time to time because the grip isn't good enough still a great figure though So we'll move on down to the final shelf and the final part of this video. Okay, and down to the final shelf, we have three here. We have Machiko at the front, which is a highly sought after figure. And I've got her on the um, Predator 1 base. This is the base that come with the original Predator 1 that Hot Toys released quite a while ago. There's her bio mask. In the background we have the one of the lost predators. This is um, Shadow Predator. Or some people call him Snake. And I've just added a few little bits to him. I'll tell you about that when we look at, take a look at him. And over on this side we have the Wolf Predator. So will just take another closer look at Machiko. Based from... Uh, character from one of the comics I believe. Um, I've just added to her um, on her arm there to cover up the joints I've put some wrapping that's taken from the Hot Toys Alice figure I think it just looks good on this figure. Quite a fiddly figure very delicate. As I said there's the Predator 1 base and the mask that you can put on. We have another skull trophy there and on this side we have another skull trophy. So I'll just put a pause in here and we'll take a look at the two in the background again. Okay starting with Shadow Predator uh, what I've done to him is I've added the Chopper Predator skulls on his back and I've given him Machiko's base. This is the base that comes from Machiko. And that's the um, mask from the Guardian Predator that I used to have but I've since sold. And he's got his throwing disc in his hand and also he's got a bone sword which is very similar to the one that was on the Elder Predator on the shelf above. Next to him we have Wolf Predator. This is the cleaner kit version uh, but I've converted it. Uh, what I've done is I've added another shoulder cannon because the cleaner kit version only comes with one cannon whereas the uh, other release that they did came with two so I've just added that to him and I've also added um, the extendable whip because this version came with um, a whip that was just wrapped up and put on his belt so I've given him this whip and there's his face mask with the hoses coming off of it and his diorama base. Quite a while ago Hot Toys announced that they were going to re-release something from this movie uh, which we all thought was going to be Wolf Predator but they haven't done anything yet so I'm not sure if this one's going to be re-released. I think it probably will be but maybe at a later date. I think the interest for these figures will go up again when the new film comes out which I believe could be next year or early the year after. So they might start reproducing some of the old ones again then. So I'll put another pause in here, put the Predator back, the uh, Machika back in the front and take a final look over this cabinet. 
so yeah there you go that's video part one my collection the predator collection as I said I have got uh, the new elder predator from AVP on the way and he will go in here somewhere So stay tuned for part two. I'll just give you a brief, I'll just shut this up and give you a brief look on what's coming on part two. It will be the Terminators, other movie characters, followed by several other movie characters, followed by the big guy himself. So as I said, stay tuned for that video. That will be coming up next. Until then, as always, thanks for watching.